Hey what's up everybody my name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. Today we're gonna kind of do the Hearts of Stone expansion because there's a, a few armor sets that were added in that expansion and we never really checked that out. If you remember the Ophiri, uh, the Ophiri merchant that uh, told us how to do enchanting, uh, he also set us on a quest to find uh, some hidden diagrams. Uh, those were kind of bandit camps all over the place. Uh, the quest gives you the locations of each of them, so I never really bothered to do that on camera. I found all the diagrams in the meantime, and I will uh, now bring them to the Ophiri merchant again, so we're gonna build that armor set. Hello! It is to see you again. Quite the pleasure. Yes, um, found your diagrams, actually. Managed to recover all your diagrams. Ah, want to be relied on. This I knew. You restore the faith I might have in men, for I've now received aid from a stranger in even this land the most barbarous. Don't mention it, really. As agreed, I shall draft your duplicates, though it may take a day. Be so kind as to return tomorrow. Your reward I will have for you. All right. Tomorrow, then. I always found that a bit strange if the game does that uh, for uh, forcing you to wait a day because the only thing I'm going to do now is just meditate in front of the guy's face. Good morning, my dear merchant. Hello. It is to see you again. Quite the, Quite pleasure. the pleasure. Yes, indeed. Here to pick up those diagrams. The diagrams. They're duplicates. Ready? In fact, yes. They are yours to take with my gratitude. I wonder if he Thanks. can actually... Ophiri Sharavari. That is interesting. Gauntlets, and then we have... What the hell is the game doing? More gauntlets, apparently. What else do we have? Scale armor. Interesting. More scale armor. Why does that show that twice? That is rather interesting. Ophiri boots, twice again. And what else do we have? Quest updated and then completed, probably. Yeah, there we go. This he still has a marker here, but I think it is to see you again. Quite the pleasure. Yes, indeed. Uh, that's for the horse race, probably. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Heard immediately. a lot of good things about Ophiri mares. Their speed. Care to race? <laughs> Swift as the western winds are our mounts. To prove this would be an honor. So race we must. Yes, race we must. So we're gonna do that. And I think that gives us a nice uh, reward as well. So, are we going to get a countdown or... Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. And goodbye. Doesn't look like he has that fast of a horse, but I know the AI always waits for you, kind of. Just so that you're not too far behind all the time. But, yeah. I think this isn't this isn't gonna be a problem as usual. Oh shit! What the hell is this? I'm gonna have to take a side route. Take your mount to her limits. Take your mount to her limits. Okay. Don't know where the end is here, but oh, so this is where the wedding is in uh, in Hearts of Stone. That's very cool that they bring you through those uh, areas again. Uh, but I think I'm gonna run out of horse stamina in a minute. Oh shit! Yeah, okay. There we go. Now we have a full stamina bar again. It's probably gonna be around the Great Lake that they added in the DLC. Um, that should be fine, because I think we're almost around towards the windmill again. Yeah, I think we're done. Yep, there we go. Swift as the western winds. Oh yes, we are. A fiery mares may be swift as the wind, not quite as fast as my roach, though. I congratulate you. A saddle for your mount, your reward. A contest to commemorate. A fiery stock a saddle. Thanks. Like your new gear, roach. Ha! Much may be said of a man by how he treats his horse. Apparently, it is. Still of a time when love brought together the skies and the steppe. And from their union was born the first mare. Weak were the creatures called men. They fell prey to countless dangers. The mare nursed them. Her milk fed them. Strong they grew. And she let them saddle her. Warriors they became. And gave fight to their foes. 
the myths teach us to respect our horses. Noblest among all beasts. Beautiful story. Thanks for that and the race. Yes, indeed. Thank you for the story. That was actually pretty nice. Okay, I wonder how good that saddle is, because I have gathered a lot of saddles, of course. In the meantime, especially from Blood and Wine as well. So, farewell. Take care now. Go, and in the world glory, its never-ending creation be praised. Farewell. Farewell, because that's probably the last time we ever talk to you. Um, let's see. This is the saddle. 85 stamina. Let's compare that. Oh, so the saddle of the five chivalric virtues is 90 stamina. So yeah. The one in Blood and Wine is obviously still a bit better, but I'm going to equip it nonetheless. Uh, for the simple reason that I want to just see how that looks. It's actually kind of sad that I lost lost the uh, armor, but I'm going to rock this for a while, I think. Um, so yeah, next up I want to go to a blacksmith and an armor, armor respectively. Probably first an armor to uh, create that Ophiri armor, so I'll see you guys... Probably in Crow's Perch in a minute. So back in Crow's Perch, and uh, Joanna might be able to help us with, uh, yeah, that uh, Ophiri armor. Geralt, good of you to come by. What can I do for you? Well, we have something a bit Eastern uh, this time. Need some armor made. Witcher's armor. Ophiri boots. Um, they're actually light gear. Light gear, but pretty. Increase armor and stamina regeneration. So, that's actually interesting, because they're not that worse than the one that the wolf gear I'm actually wearing. Hardened leather steel ingots, amber dust, ruby dust, and amethyst dust. Uh, so yeah, let's make that. Ophiri scale armor. Three cured dragonite leather, cured leather, amethyst dust, ruby dust, and emerald dust. They like their gems, don't they? Ophiri scale armor. Not that bad either. There we go. Ophiri Gauntlet, Skewered Leather, Steel Ingots, Sapphire Dust, Emerald Dust, and Amber Dust. So yeah, a lot of uh, gem dust for this armor set. And it is pretty nice, actually. And then the Ophiri Sharovari, so the Trousers, Sapphire Dust, Ruby Dust, and Amethyst Dust. I actually am running low because I sold a few uh, to get a bit of money, but there we go. A complete Ophiri armor set. Let's take a look at that. We actually look really, really nicely. Look how that shines. Very, very shiny indeed. Gerald, how stunning. So yeah, it looks like it's sort of velvety. And it's actually not that bad. The stats aren't actually that bad. If we check that out, so the armor set is 225 with my Grandmaster Wolven gear is actually not that much better. It's 240, so 15 points in difference. Although apparently my armor is a bit in need of repair, but might be able, might be able to fix that a bit more. But the other effects are also pretty nice, because the only thing we get from the Grandmaster Wolven gear, because I think I might actually uh, swap something out of here, is the adrenaline point gain, and the rest is not that interesting. The only really interesting thing is that I can uh, apply three different oils on the, the sword at the same time. And I could mix and match a bit later on. Because we get a lot more sign intensity bonuses from the Ophiri uh, gear. Specific sign intensity bonuses, not, the, not general sign intensity bonuses, but they're still pretty nice. So a bit weaker than the Grandmaster Wolven gear that we're wearing. But then again, the Grandmaster Wolven gear is medium armor. And it's Grandmaster, so level 40 and not level 38. So we're gonna have to see when we make the other Grandmaster sets uh, how that fares uh, in comparison. But this is pretty nice. Look at that. It doesn't really look like armor as well. I'm gonna run around in this for a bit. Um, the other thing I wanted to check out before we go make an Ophiri sword is the Viper armor. If you remember during the auction, we bought uh, all the armor diagrams for the Viper armor and we're gonna make that now immediately as well. So the Viper armor's armor is level 40. We need linen, hardened leather, leather straps, wire and cured dragon leather. We don't have uh, the lower level gear because there is not really any lower level gear. 
Uh, so we're gonna be able to make this without any other gear that you need beforehand. So Viper boots. And then the Viper armor, linen, hardened leather, leather scraps, wiring cured dragon leather. It feels like it's actually pretty easy to make. There we go, Viper armor. Especially looking at its stats, it actually looks pretty good. It's medium as well. But again, Litten, it's the same, the same requirements for every piece, so... Viper gauntlets and Viper trousers, same prerequisites, so there we go. And now we're gonna go to Hattori and Novigrad Take and make the Ophiri sword first. Uh, and then we'll check out the Viper uh, set afterwards. So, see you guys in Novigrad in a minute. Hello, Hattori. Greetings, Ivy. Greetings, Geralt. There we go, let's keep the formalities behind. Listen and make him craft something for us. So the only thing I really want to make here, because the Ophiri swords are actually, uh, well, there's a lot of them and you can uh, collect them during uh, Hearts of Stone. You probably got one already. Uh, the most important one there is probably the one you get from uh, Olgierd if you save his life at the end of the DLC. Uh, so that's probably the most interesting one to get. But the Viper swords also have an upgrade. I only managed to get the uh, steel sword diagram of the Viper Venomous uh, swords because the silver sword upgrade diagram is apparently in um, uh, Gunter Odim's shadow world, his puzzle world at the end of the, uh, of the DLC. So kind of missed that one, but yeah, that's where you would find the silver sword, so I'm not going to be able to craft that. But here's the steel sword uh, for you anyway, so it also requires a bit of emerald dust, so let's craft that. There we go, and I'm gonna quickly check out the Viper so set immediately just to show you how it looks, because it kind of looks familiar. There we go, because if you notice it, it kind of looks like the armor that you start the game with, so the standard Witcher gear armor uh, that Geralt starts the game with, but it's a lot darker. Uh, it's also a lot darker because of the rain right now, but it's a lot darker, and it has sort of snake scales. Uh, on the inside. I'm gonna show you in the menus because the rain is fucking this up a bit. There we go. So there you can see it a lot better, the, the, the scales on the gauntlets and the chest armor. So let's zoom in a bit. There we go. Look at that. It's really, it's a really nice armor set, but I don't think I will be using it. I think it's the prettiest armor set of the bunch, actually. It has a bit of blue highlights on the chainmail as well. And I really, really like how it looks, but... You know what, maybe I am going to try it out. Uh, the sword is also really, really good, actually. Because uh, in addition to having pretty nice stats, it boosts art, but it also boosts critical hit damage, uh, damage by 75%. And uh, has a chance to poison as a base effect. Because, of course, it's a Viper Venomous Steel Sword. So I might actually run with this one for now a bit. Because, yeah, the Wolf one is cool. But it doesn't actually add too much. It has a nice chance of bleeding, but that's about it. I do like the uh, the critical hit damage more. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go with that for for a while and see how that works. And now there's one thing I need to do that I kind of forgot. Uh, I will be getting all geared's uh, sword out of the chest, and then we're gonna head back to the Ophiri merchant anyway because he uh, he has something for me. So, back uh, where we started in Ophiri Digs, and now let's uh, talk to the... I also got the uh, sword from Olgierd, Iris. There we go, Mercy. look at that, it's Mercy. really nicely curved. So that's an Ophiri sword, it should be, so let's talk to the merchant. Because there's a Just really, really cool trophy, well, the, the name is pretty funny. If I have anything to say about that. Uh, but you need all the horse gear, and I think this guy what sells it as well. Mind if I have a look? So we got the saddle from him. Um, there's actually an Ophiri crossbow here as well, but I don't think it does more damage. So let's just get the Ophiri blinders and the Ophiri saddlebags. Thank you very much. And he actually has another Gwen card as well, but I already have gone through them. Uh, so yeah, thank you for that. There we go. Take care now. Go, and in the world glory, its never-ending creation be praised. I wonder if I need to equip it, because nothing's popping just yet. Uh, although Iris might not count as an Ophiri sword, but maybe if I equip uh, Roach with the blinders and the saddlebags, nothing happens, of course. And then I'm going to just buy that last sword. 
a fiery decorated saber. It's quite pricey. But yeah, thank you very much. There we go. I wore a fiery before it was cool, because yeah, take care now. It looks pretty go. cool. And in the world glory, its never-ending creation be praised. Yes, goodbye. Very well. Thank you. Thank you for all your wisdom. And uh, yeah, that's the uh, the Ophiri trophy. And yeah, we also introduced the Viper Gear. I'm just uh, running it through my mind. So that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys uh, got something from this. So the Ophiri Gear and the Viper Gear. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video or series. Goodbye.